Well, welcome back to another edition of Friday Fruit. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about not being weary of doing good. So let's get into it. In Galatians chapter 6, uh, verses 9 and 10, Paul is talking to the church of Galatia about um, not being weary of doing what's good and how to carry the burdens for others when they need to be carried, how to treat other believers. And so if anybody understood about being weary, Paul was one of those guys. He wrote 13 books of the New Testament, was called Saul before, studied uh, uh, to be up on the Sanhedrin, the Jewish ruling council, um, sought orders by that Jewish ruling council to go persecute Christians, uh, to be basically a headhunter. And on the road to Damascus, he had a complete, uh, complete 180 change. He had a conversation with Jesus, um, goes into uh, Damascus, um, prays, um, just really radical life change. And then he started preaching. He started going from city to city to city, preaching the gospel, preaching salvation, pre preaching redemption, reconciliation, uh, really just the good news of the gospel. So if anybody understood being weary, I think Paul was that guy. When he would go into these cities, he would face adversity, he would face um, immorality, he would face um, all these different things that those cities were dealing with, and he would go in and preach the gospel. And a lot of the times, it wasn't well received. He would be put in jail, flogged, beaten, and all for the sake of the gospel. So when I say if there's anybody that knows or understands being weary, Paul is that person. So in Galatians, when he's telling that church, I know what it is to be weary, but that shouldn't stop us from doing what God has called us to do, and that's to preach the good news. So today, you may be thinking, man, I'm beaten down, or I don't understand why certain things go on, or I'm asking the question why, trust me. Our family uh, has had a recent situation where we want to ask those same questions, and we've been beaten down, and we are weary, but I take great uh, strength in what Paul is writing and what God is communicating through Paul. It's okay to be weary, but we don't have to stop doing what's right. It's okay to have questions. It doesn't mean we have to stop doing what's right. It doesn't mean that we have to stop preaching the gospel. It doesn't mean that we have to stop being an example to those around us. So wherever you are today, maybe this is an encouragement to you from Galatians chapter 6. Just because things aren't going maybe the way you want them to, doesn't mean you have to stop doing good. It doesn't mean you have to stop preaching the good news. So today, Friday, Valentine's Day, preach the good news. Preach the good news of Jesus. If it's a holiday about love, preach the unconditional love of Jesus. John 3, 16 and 17. Awesome verses. Came so to give life, not to condemn. Got a chance at eternity. That's a picture of everlasting love. So I hope this encourages you. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. There's more content like this. Uh, I'm going to leave a little extra on the end. Um, been able to was able to play at Bethlehem Church yesterday for or two days ago now, two days ago for the youth, and we had an awesome time. So I'm going to leave some clips here at the end of that uh, end of this video of just that us having a good time. So thank you so much for your encouragement. Thank you for. Um, reaching out, the comments, the text, uh, the prayers. So thankful for that. Can't say it enough. But remember, keep worshiping and God bless.